so the next question is from uh, electrochemistry. Consider the strong electrolytes uh, Zm, Xn, U, M, Y, P, and V, M, Xn. The limiting molar conductivity of uh, the first uh, the two electrolytes uh, are given 250 and uh, 440 and uh, we have to find the value of m plus n plus p uh, they have also given the limiting molar conductivity uh, of different ions zn plus u p plus v n plus x m minus and y m minus and also they have given the variation of uh, lambda uh, limiting uh, this molar conductivity with the root c for this zm x n salt uh, so for the two salts u m x p and v m x n the value of lambda naught is given so we can use colorosh law to first write the expression of uh, this lambda naught in terms of the conduct mo limiting conductance uh, molar conductance of the ions so for the first 250 is equal to uh, m times conductance of u which is given as uh, 25 plus p times conductance of y that is given as 100 similarly 440 is equal to uh, v uh, m times conductance of v which is 100 m into 100 plus n times conductance of x which is 80 that is our second equation uh, we need three equations so that we can find the value of m and n p and then add and get the answer the third equation we need to first calculate from this graph uh, let us first find the uh, from this graph i can find its equation as a linear graph so lambda minus 339 is equal to 336 minus 339 divided by 0 0.04 minus 0 0.01 into under root c minus 0 0.01 on simplifying this uh, lambda comes out to be uh, 340 minus 100 times root c now as we know that this is lambda times lambda infinity minus b root c so this is representing uh, limiting molar conductance of this salt z m x n so lambda not of z m x n would be 340 which was not given directly but we could calculate this from the graph now we can add a third equation in terms of uh, the third salt so 340 is equal to m times conductance of z that is 50 plus n times conductance of x that is 80 that is our third equation so if we simply uh, subtract 2 and 3 would we get 100 is equal to uh, 50 m which implies m is equal to 2 substituting m is equal to 2 in the second equation uh, we get n is equal to this will be 440 minus 200 that is 240 so n would be 240 divided by 80 so n comes out to be 3 now from the first equation I can find the p value by putting m as 2 so from that m if I put 2 then it is 50 uh, 250 minus 50 is 200 divided by 100 so p comes out to be uh, uh, 250 uh, p comes out to be 2 so m is 2 p is 2 n is 3 so the sum of m n and p would be 2 plus 3 plus 2 that is 7 
So the correct answer for this problem is 7.